What's up, everybody? It's Eddie Z here from Easy Trading Computers, and you're watching Trading Computer Secrets. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool to speed up your computer. What this tool does is clean all the gook, all the gunk that builds up in your computer over time. So, if you ever noticed your web page is taking longer and longer to load, or your machine takes a long time to boot up, or your machine just feels slower than it used to? If so, you definitely want to install this tool. The name of the tool is called CCleaner. Now, to get the tool, just go to ccleaner.com and scroll down right here to CCleaner free. You want the free version. Go ahead and click download. It'll bring up this page. Scroll down under the free column. They're going to try to sell you the updated professional version. You don't need that. Just get the free version. So once you click for the free version, this page will load up. And I'm using Chrome. The download is right here. If you're using Firefox, it's usually up here in the right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and run the program. And so... I get this box, install. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Now it's ready to run. I want to uncheck view release notes. I don't need to see the release notes. I'm going to click run cleaner. So here, the free for home use version of CCleaner starts up. And it gives me this new tool. It's called announcing CCleaner health check. For now, we're just going to close this out. We might take a look at it anyway uh, at the end of the video, but I'm going to show you how to do the same things manually so you don't have to use their health check. So I'm closing this out, and I'm going to maximize it here. Skip Again, skip this health check. What we want to do is go over here to the left side. Now, there's a couple things to notice on the top. It tells you what operating system you're using, tells you what processor you have, how much RAM, video card. So there's some information here. This is one of my older machines I use to make videos. But we want to go here to custom clean, right here. Custom clean. Now, custom clean is very cool because what it's going to do is going to clean out all that gook, all that junk, that all those tracking pixels, all the little pieces of following software that's known as cookies that attaches themselves to your browsers and tracks all the web pages you go to and sends it back to advertisers. We're going to clean up all of that now, and it's going to make your browsing so much faster. So here are all the things we're going to clean up. We're going to clean up your internet cache, your internet history, cookies, your download history, recently typed URLs temporary internet files. Uh, it's going to do this in Microsoft Edge, in Internet Explorer, in Windows Explorer. It's going to empty your recycle bin. A lot of stuff you delete doesn't actually go off of your computer. It gets sent to the recycle bin and it just uses space on your hard drive. You don't need that. So it's going to clean all this stuff out. It's also going to clean Firefox, the internet cache, the history, the cookies, Oprah. If you use that, I don't. I use Google Chrome and I use Firefox. And all of these applications, it's going to clean all of these things at the same time. Now, I run this program pretty often, once, twice a week. So I'm going to come down here and click Analyze. And it's going to look for everything on my machine that fits one of these categories. Now, I got a message here. Google Chrome needs to be closed. So this program is going to want to close background programs and especially your browsers so it can clean the internet cache. I'm going to say yes because I'm not using it, Google Chrome right now. So it closes Google Chrome. And for me, this is the stuff it's been able to find that it's going to delete. The internet cache and cookies is definitely going to speed up my machine. If you haven't run a program like this, this could take 30 seconds up to a minute just to analyze all the files you're going to clean up. So I ran this, again, uh, just earlier this week. So there's not a lot to clean up here. So now I'm going to click Run Cleaner. When I click Run Cleaner, 
it says the selected files will be deleted. Do you wish to continue? Now, before I actually say continue, I do want to make one thing clear. Let me cancel this for a minute. I want to just tell you one thing. If you use Google Chrome uh, and Chrome is saving your passwords or Firefox is saving your passwords, make sure this is unchecked. See, warning about saved passwords. If you clean it, you're going to lose your saved passwords. Say, okay, and I'm going to uncheck this. Never, do, You don't want to delete your passwords. By the way, I don't recommend you ever save your passwords inside of a browser. You should use a program like RoboForm to, if you want to save your passwords. That's just my advice. That's for another video. So I'm going to click Run Cleaner, and this is going to delete the files from my PC. This tool alone, just the custom clean, if you just run custom clean, and you haven't run a program like this in a while, you're going to be surprised how much your browsing and your page load really speeds up. So that's a really cool feature of CCleaner. Now let's talk about some of the other features of CCleaner. There is a registry cleaner, which I recommend you completely leave alone. There are also some cool tools in here that I'll go over very quickly. The first thing that comes up under tools is a program to help you uninstall programs you don't use. So my recommendation is always to delete programs that you never use. They're just taking up disk space. Sometimes they could be communicating with their host server from time to time. It even could create a security issue having some old program that's checking for updates with its manufacturer, with the software writer. So you want to remove any programs that you're not using at the bare minimum to free up disk space. So I'm going to click the top, pro click this programs to remove, just so it's in alphabetical order. If you don't recognize a program and you're not sure, leave it on there. Let's just take a quick look here. I have Adobe Flash Player. I have 3D Viewer. I don't know what that is, but it's a Microsoft program, so I'm not going to mess with it. Alarms and Clock, Microsoft, going to leave that alone. Apple Software Update. I don't use Apple products. I wonder how that got there. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to uninstall it because I don't use Apple programs. I'm not personally a fan of Apple. So I can click to uninstall it right there. Now you can go ahead and go through your whole list. Again, if you don't recognize it and you're unsure, leave it on there. But it's something you definitely know that you don't use Go ahead and delete it. So here's another one, Apple Application Support. I'm going to uninstall that as well. All right, so you can go through your list and find programs you want to remove. Software Updater. This is going to look for programs that are not up to date on your machine, and it's going to look for programs it can update. I've never used this Software Updater, but feel free to use it. Again, make sure it's programs you recognize. This is a very cool feature. It's called Startup. What Startup is, is going to bring up a list of programs that start up when you first turn your computer on. And the more programs you have running in the background when you first press the button to start your computer or you restart your computer, the longer it's going to take for your computer to boot. So you want to minimize the background programs to the ones that you just know you definitely need. Just click on the Enable Column heading so it brings all the yeses to the top. So these are all the programs that run when I very first start my computer. So Snagit is a program that I use, but I don't really need it to start when I first turn my computer on. So I can disable this from the Start menu. So that'll disable it. That means when I first turn on my computer, it won't start snag it, and my computer will boot up a little bit faster. Uh, QuickBooks, mm, I'm kind of unsure on that one. I'll leave it alone. Let's see what else. Here's an Intel program. I'm not going to mess with that. 
Dropbox, I like to have running. Uh, my mouse is a Logitech mouse. I use GoToMeeting. CClean or Smart Cleaning Monitor. I love the program. We're using it now, but I don't need it to start when I first turn on my computer. So I'm going to disable that also. So you can go through this. This is another situation. If you're unsure, leave it alone. Let it open when you first turn your computer on. Here's another tool called Browser Plugins. So browser plugins are usually third-party programs that you have running in your browser for specific tools. So for example, I have something called RoboForm in my browser. RoboForm essentially saves passwords for me. I have several hundred different passwords and I don't wanna remember them all. I try to have a different one for every single website, every single login. RoboForm remembers them for me. So I definitely want this running when I turn on one of my browsers. Show Toolbar. I don't know what this is. It's by the same company that makes Ro RoboForm. I'm going to leave it on. Send to OneNote. This is a browser plugin for Microsoft. I never use OneNote. So I'm going to disable that. That should also help speed up my browsing. Here's another one to OneNote. I'm going to disable that. So you get the idea here. You can go through your browser plugins, your browser extensions. And again, if it's one of those things, here's two more. If I hit the control bar, the control button, it'll I can highlight both of them. I'm going to disable both of those because they're again they're one note. I don't use one note. So that will help speed up your browsing. The next really big feature is disk analyzer. The cool thing about disk analyzer is it's going to analyze your disks. It's going to see which files take up the most space. This way you can determine if your drive is starting to get full, if there are files and folders that you can delete. So I just ran Disk Analyzer. I have a number of hard drives connected to this machine. And what you want to do is sort by the size. So click on the size column. Bring up the biggest files to the top here. So you can see my biggest files I have on my hard drive are MP4s, they're videos. So obviously they would be the biggest files. So what I could do is go through these and delete the, the files I don't need anymore to create disk space on my hard drive. So that's a pretty cool tool. Be careful, don't delete files you need, of course. Duplicate Finder, this is a special program to find duplicate files on your machine. This way, you can clear up some space on your hard drive. So you can run this at your leisure. System Restore is an advanced feature. I would leave this alone. Do not mess with System Restore for now. You can do some research on the CCleaner website to find out what's going on with that. Drive Wiper is going to delete a hard drive completely. I recommend you do not use this at all. So those are the main features inside of CCleaner that I think can help you a lot. Just for now, you can, you, you can skip the options and you can just stick to the free version. You don't need to upgrade. You don't need to pay money. Um, you can go through these other options at your own leisure here. But for now, let's go ahead and look at the health check and take a look and see what it does. It's time for your PC's health check. Every month, millions of people trust CCleaner to keep their PCs in good shape. Let's click next. Boost your PC's performance. Disable unwanted apps to make your PC wake up faster. Well, we already did that. Improve your PC's security. Quickly update apps and close security holes. So we talked about if we want to check for updates on our programs, that's a good idea because we're going to keep our apps and our programs up to date here. Click Next. Maintain your PC's privacy. Safely remove trackers. So those are things like the cache and cookies left by websites and advertisers. So this is going to do a bunch of things all at once. Get more disk space. I showed you guys how to do that already. Let's click Get Started. So now it's checking my PC's health. And it's thinking right now. There it goes. Oh, it tells me my PC feels under the weather. So 
I can press a button to make it better, or I can look and see what the items are. Number one, privacy. Well, we already cleaned up all of our trackers, all of our cookies, all of our cache. We have none to remove. Space. We have 125 bytes, which is tiny, of junk to remove. I, di I didn't clean up any space, but we could here. Now, these two items, speed and security, they're under lock, under pro. So I find that very funny for the pro, for the security, because it says two apps to update. Well, if you remember, I could come back here to tools and I can click on software updater for free and it will update those programs for me. So I don't need to do that. Speed, zero apps to disable. We talked about disabling apps already with the tools and using the startup. And again, that's under pro, they want you to pay money. So you really don't need to use their health check. You can do all this stuff for free as I just showed you. So I tried to show you the main features of CCleaner. Very fast review. The custom clean is the best thing to run. It's going to clean all your internet cache, your cookies, your download history. This is going to make your PC run faster. And then I showed you some of the tools, the software updater, how to add and remove programs, the startup, how to get rid of browser plugins you don't use, how to look for files you can delete right on your computer. So that is CCleaner. It's an excellent, excellent program. The number one feature to me is the custom clean. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please feel free to download our complete guide to trading computers by clicking the link below. This guide is packed with great tips so you can totally optimize your trading experience. Also, if you know someone who you think would like this video and the guide, please go ahead and enter their information in the form below. We'll send them an invite. Lastly, go ahead and check out our latest sale by clicking the button below. My name's Eddie Z. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.